Welcome to the one of the most important YouTube videos of my whole YouTube channel and guys there's so many things I need to show show you when it comes to macroeconomics to what is happening in the United States and what is about to happen in the world it's absolutely insane please I urge you if you're a Bitcoiner or you're considering to be getting into Bitcoin and you're waiting for these $5,000 per Bitcoin prices or whatever please watch this video for your own good from the beginning and until the end and certainly subscribe and hit that notification bell for the daily updates so you watch them as soon as they come out and you watch them in full so let's quickly just dive into this there's so many things to cover today it's probably going to be a longer video but I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes so that's why quick 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 we have when it comes to Bitcoin in a short-term perspective just quickly get the TA out of the way uh, I'm going to show you some of the trades we might be taking in our community and this support is very important for us right now if we actually break this support which has been held holding us up in a very short from perspective then we might lose it a bit and go down to 27 to 26.8 could be a very beautiful quick short trade and if we don't break it and we bounce off of it again short-term trades sniper trades quick scope trades beautiful small uh, very tiny risk in money management so very tiny risk and always try to take three to one five to one etc and could be quite you know because we are in this vicinity right here and we are at this extreme right now so very good opportunity just as a short-term perspective and certainly I'm going to be posting all of my all the biggest trades are here on YouTube I'm still holding my long trade nothing has changed and I never changed my outlook for you Karen's out there <laughs> those who are saying oh you're always changing your no there is short term and then there is long term Long term, bigger trades are here on YouTube and smaller trades are in the Discord channel. There is a link down in the description of this video to my Discord channel. This is where I post all of my trades and the trades of my team. This is basically what it looks like and we are doing exceptionally well this year. Not every trade is a profit, but with our risk management and the you know old coins we are trading and Bitcoin, we are doing exceptionally well and the trade results right here, you can actually check it yourself. This is posted by members, 400%, 100%, 500%, 500 whatever that is, I don't know. One thousand dollars, etc. This is all our members, and it's infinite. It's just it's never ending. So if you want to participate, go down in the description of this video and join us immediately. And we are certainly trading. If you're gonna ask me where to trade, I'm personally trading over on Bybit. And with my exclusive link down in the description of this video, you can claim up to thirty thousand dollars initial deposit bonuses, and also other bonuses. And you also you need to be a Bybit trader with your Bybit UID. You need to use my link to Bybit to sign up with Bybit and deposit money into your account, and then use your UID. To get into my discord and it's free i'm not charging money for discord uh but it requires kyc bybit requires kyc big very reliable doesn't have any stupid fun about it but uh doesn't does require kyc if you are from canada and a few other countries and you don't want kyc you're, you cannot do it for some reason then bitgit is your solution and there's select countries where bitgit does not require kyc also link to bitgit down in the description of this video and you can claim up to eight thousand dollars initial deposit bonuses so now that the shell is out of the way let's get to the juice of this video so uh we discussed short-term perspective and uh, trading opportunities that could happen with some impulses from this level right here or a bounce which is very easy to trade either way uh if you're a trader you know how to do this uh, now what I want to show you right now if we're gonna go to a bigger time frame let's say daily Bitcoin is actually going up as you can see right here but S&P 500 is crashing uh, Nasdaq is kind of going down as well but it's still being held up by those big tech stocks uh, if we're gonna take a look at Dow Jones it is not looking very good if we're gonna look at US government government bonds it's all going up and uh, if we're gonna look at gold it's actually going down <laughs> so I mean you already are getting a picture and uh, uh, Dixie is rallying like crazy and also the Treasury bonds uh, the ETF is plunging like note I mean look at, how, at which rate it's plunging so then why is Bitcoin not going down and what does it mean for the price in a long-term and short-term perspectives what is happening because I really want you to pay attention right now because these things are telling us an incredible story so if you're ready strap in the belts of wisdom and knowledge immediately and let's get into it because it will be by the end of the video you'll be like holy shit 
So let's get into it. Now, first thing that I want to mention is that for now, economy is looking relatively strong. So the U.S. initial jobless claims are still good. So we're not seeing any signs of recession yet. You know, so we're not seeing huge weakening yet. And uh, job openings have job jumped to 9.6 million in August versus 8.8 expected. So the economy is doing fantastic. So this is already one of the reasons why the S&P is crashing because uh, it gives the Fed the right to tighten more. And a lot of big bankers and stuff are calling for rates as high as 7%, uh, which is pretty crazy and therefore of course it spells trouble and potential recession whatever so that's why all these big boys are selling off except for bitcoin now except for bitcoin but we'll get to it we'll get to it if you're ready call me mr sparon down in the comments because i'm juiced and because the things i understand right now the things i'm seeing right now i feel so good i feel so amazing honestly like honestly i'm being always honest with you guys i feel amazing so let's get to this, uh, which is also fueling, and this is like beautiful. This is exactly it. This is this is my face when I saw this, precisely this face right here. So um, total U.S. debt, uh, United States added 275 billion dollars of debt in one day. So this is pretty much half of Bitcoin's market cap right now. They had just like all the. <laughs> <laughs> whatever 33.4 trillion dollars why not so and certainly when we were seeing something like this i mean it is affecting stocks it affect it affects traditional finance but bitcoin this is a huge advertisement for bitcoin but this is just peanuts in comparison to what i'm about to show you but this is something i wanted to point out that fiat is the scam not the bitcoin so anyway whew, let's get into it uh what Next, we need to discuss is the bond yields and what are the yields and why are they, you know, uh, at 25 year high in UK and also uh, it's like it's they're high everywhere, almost everywhere right now. Global economies glide to soft lending gets bumpy as bond yields are jumping. So and this is what I've showed you actually and right here. So we're saying high bond yields. And why is that a problem? It is a problem because the United States has to pay like a trillion dollars a year in interest alone, which is like 20% of all the tax revenue they're getting. So this is absolutely monumental. And this certainly translates into big issues with what exactly? With banks. So how does this actually translate into issues with banks? Let me show you this right here. Let me find it. Uh, not this one, not this one, this one. Let's go here, for example. So if bond yields keep rising at the current pace, we are weeks away from a second. And again, I don't really like Peter Skiff. I don't like him for his stance on Bitcoin. But when it comes to macroeconomics and him as an analyst, he's not bad. So except for his Bitcoin hatred. So current pace uh, that we are weeks away from a second, far larger wave of bank failures that would result in the biggest quantitative easing program which would be you know stimulating and printing money which would be freaking amazing for the for bitcoin and for all high-risk assets but in particular bitcoin i'm going to show you exactly why program um, yet to finance the biggest bank bailout the only way to avert this crisis for the fed is to take action before it starts which we know they won't do that and this brings me to a slightly different chart. This is what I showed you briefly, is this 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. And it's plummeting, it's plummeting down. And why is this a problem? How is this gonna affect the banks? I mean, look how terrible it looks. It was like uh, in the dot-com era, dot-com bubble burst era, it was it's at the same levels in 2007 crisis. So what this basically shows, and this is a lot of the banks, you know, big banks, big players, you know, small regional banks, we're getting into this kind of stuff right here, somewhere higher up. And so this means when you come to the bank, you give your money, they put it into something similar to this. And then right now, if you come back later and you say, listen, can I please have my money back? Well, they have like, let's take a look. Let's just do this together. And uh, if we just consider the magnitude of this, 
I mean, the difference is about like 50%. So if they had a billion dollars, now they have 500 million. If you brought them a thousand dollars, now they have $500. And plus they were loading it out. And now we were saying a lot of debt piling up and people cannot pay. So therefore it can lead to uh, cascading liquidations of mortgage debt, credit card debt, commercial debt, etc. So therefore what it means is that money and fiat system is all just blah, 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 as in the wolf of wall street blah, 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 it's all fairy dust it doesn't exist it's all nonsense nonsense so and what does it translate into bitcoin how does this explain what happens in bitcoin do you guys remember what actually happened let me remove these bloody drawings let me go to the daily chart and let's have a look so we have had the ftx collapse right here right oh jesus lord okay so we had the ftx collapse right here in this vicinity and then why were we pumping in this vicinity that's right it was because of the banking collapses Banks were collapsing. And there are so many banks right now, especially regional, smaller banks, they're on the verge of collapse. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's so many, and we've spoken about this before, so call me Mr. Spot on, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The only channel that gives you everything very fast like this and in an easy to understand way. So this is exactly where we had Bitcoin pump because people were understanding how bad the system really is, and it is. And people will start to understand this more and more and more and more. But if you thought that this was already painful enough, well, wait a bit, wait a bit. This is already the reason why Bitcoin is not crashing. This exact precise narrative, which makes me feel so good. Because if you're going to see crazy bank failures for Bitcoin, it's only one direction. Up, up, up. Uh, and we're probably going to see it. Uh, next thing is this right here. This is an interesting chart posted by Problem Sniper. Uh, and this is for the credit events, you know, credit crunch, you know, issues that Peter Skip, bank failures, issues with money, what I've just discussed. And this chart here illustrates it quite well. And like every single like five years or so, a couple of years or so, we are seeing as we're going with this 10 year treasury yield, we're always seeing these problems at the peaks. And then Fed pivots, prints money, and we get more liquidity. Even saying the word more liquidity makes me feel so good. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. I just have a, such a good mood today because I, I see this stuff and I know how much Bitcoin, how many Bitcoin I'm holding. I am ready, guys, for it. I hope that you are too. I hope you're not one of those idiots waiting for 5,000 per Bitcoin or whatever nonsense. Uh, again, full disclaimer, if we see a huge war between China and Taiwan, I'm going to link a video up here where I discuss an opportunity for Bitcoin, uh, a potential scenario where Bitcoin could go to 9K. This could be this for something like this to happen. We need Tether to collapse, which would be absolutely crazy. Or maybe a full Binance collapse, you know, like another rug pull like FTX. Then maybe, you know, uh, China, China, Taiwan war, blah, blah. You know, these kinds of real black swan events. It, and this is something that is absolutely unpredictable. So if that happens, then, well, it changes things. But as long as we don't have any extra black swan events, all of those people waiting for $10,000 per Bitcoin are just idiots. So, and right now we are standing at a very increased level of 10-year uh, treasury yield and just bond yields in general. So, and it, it's been a while since we had a credit crisis. So, therefore, it is, in my opinion, it's all cyclical. It's all the same. It's all the same broken system. When Bitcoin is cyclical in a good way, all the whole, this whole monetary system is cyclical in a bad way. So if this chart is not, you know, making you feel a bit uneasy about holding dollars, especially then I don't know what will. Now let's have a look here. Uh, this is what Arthur Hayes has said. And Arthur Hayes, if you don't know who he is, I respect him very much as an analyst. And this is big. In my opinion, this is absolutely huge. So listen to what he says. Very mega important. My working model is that, you know, we're going to continue chopping around 25, 20, 30,000 this year um, as we get to the, some sort of financial disturbance and people recognize that real rates are negative if you know if government to growing if the economy is growing at a nominal rate of 10% but I'm only getting 5% 6% even though it's high people are on the margin are going to start buying other stuff crypto being one of those things so coming into 2024 either we get a financial crisis Rates go to zero, or we keep raising rates, but not as not fast, not as fast as governments are spending money because they're just trying to keep people doing things, and the rates are negative. That we get to crypto around seventy thousand uh, by the end of twenty twenty four, and that's a combination of the crypto happening event, right? Um, maybe there's going to be you know a few ETFs launched by large asset managers in the U.S. and Europe, and China, or maybe Hong Kong, to be specific. So we regain the all time high. 
the two and by the end of 2024. And that's when the real fun starts, right? That's when the real bull market starts. And so my mental model for where we could go, I think we're going to go somewhere between, you know, 750,000 to a million dollars in Bitcoin on the upside, right? And we're going to, whatever the level is. 750 thousand to a million dollars per bitcoin and as he's saying he's expecting this by the year of 2026 so this brings me to the chart guys and i want to ask you a question right now bitcoin is sitting at 27 and i believe in these kinds i mean this is a crazy projection my personal projection i think if i'm gonna be able to find it if i'm gonna go to a weekly time frame it wasn't here uh, let me quickly find it i think my biggest my big projections Oh yeah, there it is. I showed you this projection before. My personal target for Bitcoin has been somewhere in the vicinity from two hundred thousand to to about three hundred thousand dollars in twenty twenty six. So my time frame is about the same for twenty twenty four up to 100k and then we were saying this really parabolic run when everything comes in conjunction. So and he is actually saying seven hundred fifty to 1 million and Arthur Hayes is no stranger to proper analy analytics and understanding the market etc so understanding this and once again guys going back to the chart I'm asking you once more the price is 27 do you care if you buy Bitcoin at 27 or 23 or 19 or 35 when we know that Bitcoin is going at least to like 200 300k this is the opportunity to make life-changing money right now and everything is coming together all these things that are happening that what we are seeing especially this which is absolutely insane this is the time and as you know potentially i don't really like these models but look at bitcoin in 2020 this was this kind of a scenario with slow market everybody saying bitcoin is dead and then just like we we're saying right here for it just to go finally into the parabolic run and even time frame wise look october this was right here this is october and we are in october right now october so is this going to repeat well not necessarily again we have so many things that happen and you know the market really likes to shave people and you know uh, surprise people but in general for a long-term perspective I don't know, maybe I'll just even buy even more Bitcoin today because seeing all these things right now coming all to fruition and everything that even Peter Skiff has said right now, it's all going to benefit Bitcoin and Bitcoin alone. So because it is just the best asset out there and it just answered all these stupid questions. So and all the issues we have in the current system. Guys, check out this vlog right here where I used uh, my profits from my secret crypto method that doesn't have anything to do with trading where I've made more than $750,000 this year alone uh, and I bought myself an Aventador just for fun check out this vlog and uh, please stay tuned on Instagram this is where I'm gonna release uh, all the info I'm, I am already releasing all of my information about the secret crypto method and how you can make a 10x on your money in the next 12 months before this crypto method goes mainstream and the profit margins are gonna reduce so check it out it's opportunity number two besides Bitcoin itself to make life-changing money in crypto these days and as always peace and love time scrollers stay smart stay very rich and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.